everyone, welcome back. We're doing our Timeless Cup that I did in Townsville uh, at the start of this month. Uh, it was a cool tournament. We actually got through five rounds, which was great fun. Um, we can see here my team, I went with the Charizard Victory Bell sort of combo team. I think they complement each other really, really well. And also with the Double Dragon uh, Strat. And I filled it out. I was really tossing and turning about taking Whiskash or not. Uh, in the end, I and Drapion. In the end, I went with Celio and Latius. Sorry, not Latius. Lapras. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll get into the battles there. That's my team. I did use Double Dragon quite a fair bit in this tournament. Um, I don't like it. I wish we didn't. I wish we there were better things out there, and there are. But it was a really dominant strategy, so I ran with it. Uh, I wasn't a big fan, but <clears throat> you've got to do what you got to do in this world sometimes to get by. Um, so we get the, f the first match off, uh, we win against Cloud Strife 85. We can see he's got a bit of an interesting team, some Spicy Peaks, Blaziken, Hippowden, and Lantern. Um, the other three are fairly commonly seen picks. Um, yeah, I think we saw a lot of Blaziken fall out of, I don't know, out of love, out of fashion. Um, yeah, it's just not gonna... I mean, yeah, it beats the ice, guys. Uh, yeah, he's very squishy. He's very easy to to take down. So, um, as you can see here, obviously we're going to get a great match up here with the Powden versus uh, Vitri Bell. We're just raise leafing it down, and we got a shield as well. So we're up two shields to none. Um, we can wrap this one up as well. So take out the first match, uh, two 0 so far, but we'll see what's going to come up in the third. Yeah, just I think Octazuka added to King Joe just made it too OP. Uh, I would have liked to have... I mean, it's, it's a great move, so why not use it, but... Yeah, I, I think it was a more balanced cut without it. I, I would have liked to have seen it without it, or restricted to one dragon, you know, something like that. I mean, I think it would have been made for a lot more fun, a lot more interesting things. Um, you know, I think we would have seen a lot more Drapion coming in uh, with the Felstinger. Uh, made it really, really, really strong. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, Celio is going to do what he does and just wreck through everything with body slams. Uh, we get to Kingdra and we go from up to the Aurora Beam. And I was umming and ahhing if I should throw it or not. And he shielded some, but I did. So, I'm going to get a little bit of chip damage with this body slam before we go down. And we've got two dragons in the back, so we'll waste one shield. Octazooka or Outrage doesn't really matter. It was an Outrage. And then, so even though there's a Lapras in the back, um, which is obviously not ideal for two dragons, uh, Kingdra does pretty well against those ice attacks. And yeah, that Outrage just does so much damage. We're just gonna get through this no dramas. Now, we, I wasn't expecting to see an Ice Beam, so I think that was the only Ice Beam I saw all tournament, which is, uh, yeah, it's good, but I mean, it takes a long time to get there. Next up, we're up against Takori. She's an awesome trainer. Uh, spicy pick from her was Gastrodon and Torkoal. Um, she did, however, tell me at the end of the tournament she didn't put Torkoal in there once, which is, I don't know, a bit of a shame. It's cool. It'll be good to see. I'm glad, I'm glad she didn't against me. Yeah, maybe? I don't know. It would have been interesting. I don't even know how Torkoal does in the matchups. I didn't practice it at all. Um, wouldn't think there'd be one in Townsville, but here we are. There is. So Lapras is just a bit more spammy with um, its surfs than Gastrodon is with the body slam. So with, I was no health left, so we're just going to throw the surf at whatever came in and then let it go down. And we've got two dragons in the back, equal shields. Um, so yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Out comes Frostlass now. I was going to change, but then I saw it was Frostlass and obviously Kindred is going to do a lot better than... Dragon Airwood against Frostlass, so we stay in for the matchup. Now, she, if she had a shield there, she probably could have run up. Actually, I think she would have won the match. Pretty sure she would have won that matchup. Because um, then she probably would have got another Avalanche onto my King Joe, which would have taken it out, and then I wouldn't have been able to get to anything to kill her Frostlass with my Dragon Air, and it would have one-shot it with an Avalanche. Anyway, we get an interesting double swap out there. Um, I don't think either of us really like the matchup. Obviously, we practiced, and I don't like coming up against Frostlass. Even so, if, maybe if my Charizard had um, Flame Wheel or Fire Wheel, whatever it is, on it, it would have been fine. But 
Yeah, with an A slash, uh, Charizard. Uh, it's a bit riskier. Yeah. Right. So we lose that matchup, but we've got both of our shields there. So Charizard's got that energy. We didn't use any of the energy there. So it's going to KO. And now this is one of the big mistakes I made in this. Oh no, sorry. That's coming up later. Um, so we had a little bit of lag and it was a bit weird. Um, in the end, we just both agreed that regardless of the lag, I was probably in front and was going to win that matchup. So thanks to Corey. That uh, was very nice of you. And yeah, anyway, so obviously the Blastman's going to kill both of these things pretty quickly. And we can move on to the third match. So third match, this is uh, you see how I screw up with my Charizard against Drapion. So in the lead, Charizard, if you, can, you have to land a Blast Burn or throw two Dragon Claws. You can't throw a Dragon Claw and get to a Blast Burn. I know that, I've done it a lot of times in practice. Again, you can see there I was going for the Blast Burn. Just needed to throw the Dragon Claw. Uh, so that was a bit silly. Um, I would have got a shield or come really, really, really close to KOing the Drapion. So, whoopsies. So Lapras goes in and can take those hits. Um, we need this Skull Bash to land, otherwise we're not going to win. Um, and she doesn't shield, so Lapras is in a fairly commanding position now. Yeah. And she uses her last shield to keep the Kingdra alive and Victory Bell just kills it in one hit so and then uh, I thought she would have had Torkoal in the back but <laughs> that was Gastrodon so poor little Victory Bell just rips through you pretty straight away all right next up we've got a Zito Pig so he's opted for the Sunny Cast form with Meganium, Dragonair, Drapion, Lapras, Celio. Uh, we get a mirror match at the start at least the Dragon mirror match is over um, a bit quicker and stupidly I didn't mean to, but I did QSA, and so then we wasted all of our energy, uh, and he didn't burn his shield, because he knows he's not supposed to. Um, Vitri Bell is absolutely going to rip, rip, rip through Lapras. I shouldn't have shielded there, but we did. Um, we get the swap out. Now, I was thinking, oh, well, that's it. We're just going to fast move everything down. We won't get to too many charge moves. Um, but I was like, oh, well, Octazook is going to reduce the damage if we get it once, and we do. So, you know, why not just, just use it? It's there. Use it or lose it. Um, and you can see we get to another Octazooka, which is quite nice. So I'm going to throw that on the Lapras. So two shields down. We've got one shield left. So I knew Victory Bell was loaded up with energy. So once the shields are down, switch them in, go to the Leaf Blade and finish off the Lapras. Uh, again, so here we go, remember just before against Mel, throw two Dragon Claws, or throw a Blast Burn, those are your options. So, here we go. Let's see if I've learned from my mistakes. One Dragon Claw, awesome. I uh, don't need to shield this, it's a fell stinger, I'm gonna get to a second Dragon Claw. But here we go, I do shield it, I guess Aquatail is an option. You can see me clicking on the Blast Burn like an absolute moron. So, <laughs> know your matchups make the right moves with them. Know what, when you know what you got to do, you can just do it, right? Don't think, oh no, I know better. He's Pokemon of crap. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Uh, could have been such a more solid matchup if I'd have just done that. <clears throat> so we correctly guessed the uh, Earthquake coming in there. It puts our Dragonair in a nice position. And we get it with a bait on the Aquatel. So we've just got to get to an Outrage. and On oh, no, a Dragon Pulse, sorry, and that'll be it. Uh, we take the Earthquake, and I know we're not going to... We're going to take too much damage from this fast move, so we'll throw another Aquatel just to get a tiny little bit of chip damage. And Dragonair finishes it off with fast moves. And then Outrage against Dragonair, unfortunately. That's game over. Most other things that survive just a little bit, but obviously that super effectiveness is just... It's such a hard-hitting move, so yeah. Now, Celio matchup against Lapras. We know on this one... All you have to do is keep their own body splams and correctly shield the Skull Bash. If you can shield this one Skull Bash, you make it through this competition a winner. Um, obviously, if they waste two shields, then 
and you only waste one, you're gonna, you're gonna lose that match. But so we correctly get that shield on the Skull Bash. If you had abated, uh, wouldn't have been a, as ideal of a situation, shall we say? Um, but because there's so much energy used to get up to that Skull Bash, we're just gonna keep rolling through with these body spams. Even though, if, even if this is a Skull Bash, which it likely is, um, we can take that one and still get get the KO. Uh, Surf's really not going to do too much. And I think he accidentally didn't click Surf because he wouldn't have enough energy for it. Um, may have got me pretty close to dead, but I think uh, Celo would have just survived with those resistances. And unfortunately, we just can't get that body slam. So, not in a super awesome predicament in this last matchup, but we know we've won. Um, unfortunately, those Aqua Tails are just going to come off too fast before I can get to a second Dragon Claw. Which I don't think would quite... Oh no, no, definitely would KO. But you can see there, just just way too much energy on the Dragon Air before the match. Uh, so, Richard Bell's going to come in and try his darndest. Um, but he's not going to get there. Aqua Tails. So we're going to just KO it down with fast moves. And hope that whatever comes in is... And it's not. So Dropion's going to be easily going to be resisting these Leaf Blades and uh, let's, let's roll credits to the end. So thanks for that match, Shizito. Now we come on to Scott Delicious. Now Scott uh, is a bit of an up-and-coming trainer in Townsville. He's been a long-time player though, he knows his stuff. So we get an awful lead there and for some reason we swap into our Dragonair. Clearly Kingdra would have been the better option to swap into there. Um, so throw the Dragon Pulse. Does, we're going to get to a second Aqua Tail, so why not? Um, yeah, now we know he's got a Drapion in the background, so we've got to be careful. Correctly call the Octazooka, but we did get the debuff, which is a little bit unfortunate. So Drapion's going to come back in. Uh, don't need to shield this, may as well save it, but... It's very stupid, a waste of shield. I should have just let him go down. Um, and gone him back into Kingdra, because Kingdra is going to resist these ice attacks. And then I would have had an extra shield here for whatever's left after this Drapion. Um, being equal shields and Celio, so... Uh, he could have baited with the Body Slam and gone, and then gone to Aurora Beam, he still would have won. I mean, odds are he probably would have gotten to two Aurora Beams and still beaten me. Um, but yeah, it would have been nicer if I had to play that a little bit better. So, go down in that first match. Well done, Scott. So it's got a very nicely balanced team, didn't run Double Dragon, very similar to me, except he did take Whis Cash as well. So again, leads with the Drapion, I, my victory bell gets caught out. Um, so this isn't such a bad match, I know I just need to land the Skull Bash and I should be in front. I'm not saying you're going to win, but you're going to be in front. So I, I bait him there with, his, with the... Um, <clears throat> So with the Surf, and then we're going for the Skull Bash, so we block the Outrage. He probably would have been better off going to the Bait with the Octazooka to reduce our attack. And he double shields! So very interesting. So, And then, I think he was a bit nervous, he wasted all that extra energy just to KO. He didn't need to, so we can come in with Victory Bell and just farm down. And he switches to Drapion, so we go straight into our Charizard. So obviously Akatail is going to cause us a few problems. We're just going to get to these Dragon Tails. We should be able to get to this, sorry not Dragon Tails, Dragon Claw. Uh, and we can get to another one on this uh, Charizard, but I pushed it a bit too hard and I got caught with my pants down. So if I don't think the Dragon Claw would have been a lot lower. And here I got scared again and threw a Leaf Blade, which is obviously going to be doubly resisted. And if I had to thrown a Sludge Bomb, I would have won that. Probably if I had have even just thrown the Dragon Claw, would have won that matchup as well, so... Two mistakes, costing me uh, a clean... Well, not a really a clean sweep, because I wouldn't necessarily win the last matchup. But yeah, well done to Scott. Um, yeah, he's really, really pushing a lot of the long-term PvPers. Um, he ended up going 4-1 and one in both the last two cups. I think he's only competed in the two, so... Well done, mate. Looking forward to seeing you in Fusion. Uh, our last matchup, he... See here that you know Celio is good, but he's you know he's down one shield against um <clears throat> sorry against our Kingdra. So Kingdra are really able to take those ice users down as long as they don't land that Aurora Beam. So we're able to farm up an 
absolute ton of energy here in our Charizard. Sure, we burnt both our shields, but we've got so much energy left. He's going to be forced to burn his shields as well, and we should still have a little bit extra. So there we go. Extra Dragon Claw. And we should be able to get to a third before he can do anything else. Ooh, so we CMP tie, which is like, ah, oh, I hate CMP ties. Um, we bring out Lapras. So Lapras is just going to farm down, get a bit of that energy advantage, and up against Drapion. So this is a massive advantage for Lapras. I know to throw the Skull Bash, right? Everyone's watching that going, idiot, throw the Skull Bash first. You're going to improve your defense. You're gonna, it's it's going to be overall beneficial. You're still in a winning matchup, but... See, I even get to a Skull Bash again. So I could have gone Skull Bash, then Surf, which would have been a much smarter idea. Um, but I knew he had Fell Staring Apple Tower, so I wasn't really in too much trouble. So, last matchup is against Haribol Harold Bird. Sorry, I haven't actually faced her before, so that was pretty cool. She went a double Gahast form team. So, Snowy and Sunny with Meganium, Dragonair, Lapras, Quagsire. So, Quagsire is obviously a massive finisher. Uh, so is Meganium, really, with the Earthquake as well as the Frenzy Plant. Um, Dragonair, obviously, quite tough. But seeing those double cast forms, I was predicting I'd see a lot a lot of cast forms. So there we go. So she comes out with that sunny cast form. Unfortunately, Dragonair has well and truly got cast form covered. No need to shield. I can just Aqua Tail. Um, Dragon Breath, Aqua Tail, Dragon Breath just... Wash rinse repeat. Now, obviously, if, if she had Solar Beam, I'd need to be a little bit more cautious. Um, charging up to that big Solar Beam hit. Yeah, it'll, it'll kill most things. Uh, even though even though it would be resisted, yeah, it'd still do a heck of a lot of damage. Um, so, we go into that match. Uh, come out fairly strongly. Uh, Victory Bell, almost there, but with a shield. Alright, so now we get the Kingdra Dragonair matchup. So Kingdra should win this one, just based off of fast moves. So we'll fast move it down, and then, um, oh, no. So I must have missed one fast move somewhere along the lines there. Because even though she, she, I should have had an extra move because she threw the charge move and I didn't. Uh, so I'm not sure what the go was there. Maybe her IVs were really attack heavy, but then should have died quicker. So who knows, I'm not sure, but anyway, that's all right. So. She gets rid of her Lapras and brings out that snowy cast form. So Victory Bell is going to do lots of damage, but it's also going to take lots of damage. It's, it's kind of one of those situations. But I think Razor Leaf's doing more than her Powder Snows were. So I was quite happy just to work it down as low as we could. Uh, and this gives me a Dragonair a chance to farm up a little bit of energy. And But Lapras was so low that it didn't, didn't really overly matter. So we so won that one 2 nil. so... Thanks, Harold Bird. Um, into the last matchup, and I'm sorry, this is going to be a bit of a long one. Uh, we all know this match, I'm sure everyone who did Timeless Cup would have seen this one coming a long way away. Just got to block the Skull Bash and get through your body slams. So instead, I got a bit bored, so I speed this up, change it into Victory Bell. Even though we're going to get countered, um, yeah, it's all right. So we'll get to the Sludge Bomb. Throw the Sludge Bomb. If she doesn't shield, that's game over. But she's not a moron, see, she does. And then I can bring in my Charizard. He's going to resist everything. Um, doesn't look like she's going to charge up to the Solar Beam, so she's just going to keep going with these Weather Balls. And both shields are down on both sides, so I kind of commit to the farm here. Um, pretty confident I can get it. And then I've got plenty of energy left for everything else. So there's Lapras there and something else, so... Uh, we'll just throw the Blast Burn blind, take the Lapras down, and then we've got Dragonair v Celio. Shields are down, so Celio's just got to get that Aurora Beam, and it's all over. So thanks guys, thanks for watching my Timeless Cup. Um, coming up next, we'll get some Fusion Cup practice matches out, and uh, see you later.